With a simple software update to the IQ Gateway, you'll unlock the compatibility of expanding your IQ7 solar installations with additional higher wattage panels and the latest IQ8 microinverter technology. The ability of mixing and matching IQ7s and IQ8 inverters within the same system while using the existing IQ Gateway gives greater flexibility for expanding your existing in-phase PV systems. This video will introduce you to the latest in in-phase offering that provides flexibility in system expansion and design. Expanding your PV system to meet your increased energy needs and savings is easier than ever with this new software capability. The IQ Gateway's new software gives you the ability to take advantage of today's latest modules with higher wattage and pair them with the IQ8 microinverters within the same system utilizing the same IQ Gateway. No need to install an additional gateway to expand your system. All this functionality backed by a reliable and industry-leading 25-year warranty. Now that we've covered why this is such a great enhancement for you and your customers, let's dive into the hardware compatibility and what it'll take to get started. This new compatibility is available to existing in-phase system owners who have PV system using the IQ7 microinverters and want to increase their PV system size using the latest IQ8 inverter technology in today's higher wattage panels. Supported configurations include PV-only grid tied systems. This simple upgrade enables system owners to generate more energy and maximize their return on investment. Easy system expansion is key to offsetting the rising energy needs of system owners and increased cost utility bills. Once you have your expansion system installed and ready to commission, there are a few items that you must know to be successful. This section will outline those items so your commissioning goes as smooth as possible. When you're ready to commission the newly installed microinverters, there must be an IQ gateway. The gateway is a required piece of hardware since the new software allows for the ability to mix and match the IQ7s and IQ8s within the same system using the same gateway. In addition to the required IQ gateway hardware, there's also required software to commission the system. For the installer app, you'll need to have the latest version of 4.4 or newer. You can verify that you have the latest version by opening the app, tapping the menu button at the bottom of the screen, then check the version. To verify that the app has the supported version of the gateway software, navigate to the settings tab and look for the software version at the top. If the software on screen doesn't show version 8.2.4401 or newer, make sure you tap the update button to get the latest compatible version. Not having this software will delay the commissioning process and not allow the expansion system to function properly. Once the required software has been verified, you can start the commissioning process. Adding these new inverters to an existing system is as easy as it was before. You'll start by finding the existing system you're adding on to, then tapping into the section for devices and configuration, then tap the edit device count in the upper right so that you can add in the new number of microinverters. You'll need to add in the new number of total inverters on site. In this example, the existing system has 10 microinverters, and there was 10 new IQ8s added for a total of 20 inverters. Once the new devices have been added, confirm at the bottom. Remember that mixing IQ7s and 8s within the same gateway is only supported with grid-tied systems. If there's currently a system controller in the device list, the installer app will not allow you to go any further in the commissioning process. Just like adding inverter serial numbers to your original activation, you'll want to scan the newly installed IQ8 serial numbers from the updated array map. It is never recommended to use the device scan button on the gateway to start the device scan to detect the new inverters. Connect to the gateway using AP mode. Verify that the gateway has already been updated with the required software version of 8.2.4401 if the gateway software has already been updated. Continue to the provisioning step and complete the commissioning process. If the gateway needs to be updated, you'll see the button to do so. Remember, for the IQ8s to operate with the IQ7s, the new software is required. Don't skip this update. When you've completed the new device provisioning and completed the validation step, the system is now ready for use. Be sure to check with your local inspector and utility for permission to operate before leaving the system in an operational state. Now you've gotten an overview of the new compatibility offering, let's review the highlights. Expanding the existing grid-tied IQ7 system with today's IQ8s paired with higher wattage solar panels 
offers a great way to offset growing energy needs from when the original system was installed. Being able to mix and match the inverters on the same system while utilizing the existing IQ gateway and IQ combiner box saves money on new hardware installation costs. And finally, all these great compatibility features come in the form of a simple over-the-air software update to the existing IQ gateway, making the commissioning process a breeze. Thanks for learning about the latest compatibility offering from the InPhase team. For information outlined in this video and additional resources, please see the video description for links.